Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be making a tutorial video on a plugin called Shopkeepers. But you guys might be thinking right now, you already created a tutorial on this plugin before. Yes, I have. But today I'll be making a updated version. Basically, what I showed back then was just all the basics. Today I'm going to be just showing you all the small details you can change about your shopkeepers to maybe make them look better or make them more, look more professional. Alright, let's start with... Um, the food guy. Let's say this guy just looks like a uh, villager. You want this guy look to, to look different. To do, to remove it, shift, right click him, and then click on the bone. It removes the NPC. But let's say you guys don't have an NPC yet. Then look at wherever you want your shopkeeper to spawn at. Basically, um, let's take a gold block. Let's put gold, the, gold, the gold block here. I really can't talk to that. I don't know why. Look at the gold block while typing slash shopkeeper and whatever mob you want them to be. Let's say you want them to be a oh, mushroom cow. Boom. Done. He's a mushroom. And also, I'll now recommend you guys put in the names. Like, such as, like, you know, like using, using this to put in what name it is. Since you have to look at the NPC for the name to show up. So I'd recommend you guys just use the holographic displays plugin to put holographic displays on top of the NPCs. So whenever they're far away, they can still see the names. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that since it's not a holographic displays plugin tutorial. But that tutorial video will be on the screen right hand, top, top side of the screen right now. Alright, if you guys want to watch it, go watch it. Alright, so basically, let's say you guys want to trade. Um, diamond, let's take a stack. Okay, okay. let's say you want to trade 5 diamonds for 1 diamond sword. It's a horrible trade, but if you guys actually want to do that, shift the right click your NPC and this menu will pop up. Basically, the top row is what they will be receiving. And the second row and the third row is what they will be giving. So basically, let's say they want to give a five diamonds for a diamond sword, just like that. As I said, this is giving and this is receiving. Boom. Now let's test this. Let's take five diamonds and let's put it in here. Boom, you get it. Or if you have two trading recipes, I mean two trading basically recipes, yeah, that are the same, then you can just right click this and then this will pop up instead of the other one. Alright, boom, done. Also, you guys can put enchanted items in here if you want. Any type of items, any type of custom items, all fine. Alright, you guys also can talk of baby variant, which will make your NPC a baby, um, which I don't know why would you guys, why, why you guys would do that, but yeah, sure. And also, name choose mushroom variant this is a normal i guess back to the red and admin shop basically makes it only available to admins or people with the permission log you guys can check the permissions all in the download link in the description of this video thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and also if you guys thought this was helpful subscribe maybe and also if you guys want to see me live talking to you guys go follow me on twitch that'll be greatly appreciated the link is gonna be in the description see you guys later peace